Well, hello everybody and welcome to game two of the Archers and Kings here. Our no, hold on, hold Saturday on. Night hold games. on we are just right. about ready to get underway. It is going to be Nick Bowen on the hill for the Kings. And Jordan like Smith leading things off. I like it. Let's get out of here. Nick Bones had a bit of a rough year on the hill, an off year for him. He's 0-4 right, with a 932 ERA over 12 innings pitched. Give it up quite a few home And runs. play ball! He brings that first one in there for a ball. In play? Oh, foul. Foul there for strike one against Jordan. Jordan riding a 22 game history. <laughs> Everybody wants to be the one who stops that history. Yeah. Nick's going to take his shot at it. Kind of like how everybody wanted to break uh, Tony Cochran's regular season uh, win record. Now we want to break Jordan's history. And the Kings managed to be the ones to yeah. break uh, Tony's. Yeah, maybe they can break this record, too. They can be the record-breaking kings. The kings would love to win this game, make it a series split. That would really help their playoff chances if they could take a couple of points here. Even if they can just get into extras, yeah. that would put them only one point back of the purge. Yeah, with the, with the melon heads getting swept, it looks like... Uh, into the booth. Um, looks like the Kings are definitely higher. Will be are in a good spot to be higher than them. Um, now they just need to jump that last team to make a playoff push. Looking like looking to be the purge. So sits down Jordan Smith on strikes. Nick Bowen's whole career has been very feast or famine. When he is on, he's fantastic. He mixes speeds. He works every part of his own. When he gets off, he's he's apt to give up some big innings. So he's going to want to limit that tonight. Yeah, I think it's when Nick has trouble finding the zone sometimes. Then he has to rely just on one pitch. And Nick doesn't have the, the velo all the time to dominate with you with just one pitch. So... He needs, he needs all those pitches working, hitting corners, changing speeds, changing eye levels. And he always does a good job, mo for the most part. Is, he had a game this year where he took a perfect game into the fifth inning and then gave up like seven in the fifth. Oh, just lost the zone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's that's a lot of wolf ball pitchers, unfortunately. Uh, the key thing is to be able to... Be able to find the zone consistently and uh, know when to change speeds and throw that ball, too. You don't want to throw too many strikes because then you get guys swinging all the time and then they're going to hit it. He almost knocks over the beer over there in foul territory. Can't quite see it. Yeah, I've played in tournaments before where if somebody knocks your beer over and it's not in play, that's an out. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I played a tournament once when I was in my 20s where uh, High the fly ball. Who, who's going to grab it? Hitchcock. Hitchcock will make the play. One of the outfielders I was playing against refused to put his beer down. I hit a rope over to the uh, left field side. He made a diving catch and rolled out of it without spilling a drop yeah, of his beer. Just Love it. Put me out and didn't spill his beer. Love it. Oh, big swing. Good hit, Tony. Hot one from Tony there. That's going to put him on base. Paul can't come up with it. Base hit. That's me. Base yeah. hit. Hard hit. I think so. That's what I would say. Yeah, yeah. I would too. Hard I want to see what you said. Jay Rich follows one off. Whoa, that was Tony with just a blink and you miss it at bat there, putting the base hit over there to the third base side. 
official scorebook comes through and it gives the Justin Hall an air there. So another air here for the Kings. Hopefully it doesn't hurt them here in this first inning. Yeah, errors cost very costly in game one. Was that the only runs they scored? Was uh, it four unearned runs? Four unearned. Nick Bone. Oh. Nick Bone. Sitting down the side there and taking us to the bottom of the first. This bottom of the first will be brought to you by Mo Whiff's presenting sponsor, Pogue Chevrolet. Pogue Chevrolet since 1960. The Pogue Automotive Group has been the trusted dealer for all your automotive needs. Pogue Chevrolet, located in Wentzville, offers a wide selection of both new and used vehicles while guaranteeing exceptional customer service before and after the sale. For your next ride, check out our friends at PogueChevrolet.com. Also brought to you by the preferred hangout of the Mo Whiff Elite, the Lit Cigar Lounge. St. Louis's premier cigar and whiskey bar located in Chesterfield Mo at the district, not far from beautiful Catch-22 Miracle Field. Find them at litstl.com and give them a follow on social media. They have a wide selection of both cigars and whiskeys, whether you're into uh, like mild uh, Dominican cigars, uh, like myself, or uh, really anything you want to get. Uh, and a beautiful selection of whiskeys, everything from rye to Irish to Scotch to American whiskeys, Kentucky bourbons, whatever you want, they've got it for you there. If you're not a whiskey person and you want to give it a shot, it's a great place to try out a variety of different uh, whiskeys. they got a lot of tasting uh, flights that you can try. You'll find the whiskey for you out there try. Yeah, cigar and whiskey bar. Celtics are up 21 and a half. Yep. Good. <laughs> Two more. Quickie. 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 We can't beat the Rockies. We're in trouble. Looks like we're going to see Rory Rank here pitching game yeah. two. I'm surprised. I really thought we were getting Jay Rich in this game. I'm I'm a little disappointed. Has he even pitched this year? Jay Rich is like the bottom of the totem pole in pitching on this team, apparently. <laughs> this is Rory Rank's first appearance, I believe, of the year. Jay Rich, I uh, he's feel. turned a little bit. He'd be like the last option as pitcher on this team. Good. <laughs> Damn it. He says that feels Real good. Real feels good. <laughs> I feel that. I wish I didn't have a throw. Oh. We'll really? see, though. Rory said he's going to see how he throws this game. If it goes anything like the last one, I'm going to come on this one. That's what I figured. I, f- I, f- I thought you were going to start. He will, he, because he's coming off of a surgery. He yeah. wants to throw more. Yeah, hey, that makes sense. Yeah. Better to him come in and then, then you come in to save him instead of him coming in for you. Yeah. Oh, that's And then Rory Rank here starts off with two balls. Looks to be thrown a little bit harder this this game. So Rory Rink has made one appearance here. I didn't have him written down on yeah. the stat sheet. He's uh, thrown a, a one and one third innings. He also has a, a game that has been rain delayed. He's I believe he's in the he was pitching that rain delay game with them in the Millen Heads, um, which is not shown in the stats yet. So. So he's officially faced four batters, striking out three, subject to change after the, the rain delay stats get updated. Yeah. There you go, Roar. Come on, baby. Pitch. There's a good pitch. He's throwing 74. Like I said, looking like he's throwing a little bit harder, maybe back to that old self, trying to get that arm strength back, coming off of a, not sure if it's Tommy John, but some, type, some type of surgery oh, as he gets Nick Bone looking there. Really nice pitch up in the zone. Hard to do anything with that. Just skipping off yeah. the top of the strike zone. No one's hitting that. That's perfectly placed. It's going to bring up a reigning player of the week, Jake Keller. That screwball is looking very good early. As he tomahawks it. Foul. Ooh, hard hit ball foul. Hung that one just a bit, and Jacob Keller just fouls it off. A little bit ahead there. There you go. That one Good pitch. down in the zone, gets him swinging. Uh, 
That'll bring up Dustin Hitchcock. Hitchcock's still looking for his first hit, but walked three times in the last game. Yeah. Hits don't always tell a story. Just getting on base for your teammates, getting that whole team involved is huge. Yeah, reaching base three out of four plate appearances, you're going to take that every time. Of course, everybody wants to hit, but it's it's all about getting base runners sometimes and setting up your teammates. Just inside there. Hitchcock seeing the ball pretty well tonight, I would say. There yeah, I love to see that. This Kings squad would really love to uh, see Hitchcock turn it on. That way you get a little three headed monster in Bone Keller and Hitchcock. Yeah, if Hitchcock can, can find his swing in the second half of the season. Uh, the Kings' fortunes could really turn around. They're fighting for a playoff spot right now. But as we saw with the Melonheads last year, if you get hot at the right time, and this uh, Kings team has the potential that double to do walk. That, you can make some impact. Yeah. So there's a double walk putting Hitchcock on second Come base. On, Roy, reaching, go, baby. Time for the, uh, reaching base for the fourth time tonight. Bring up Jay Hall. Hall taking the loss in the first game tonight. Yeah. Giving up five runs, drive. but only one of them earned. Yeah. All in the first inning. He had been on a tear the past three weeks. Um, you know, still just only one run, one earned run that game. So still pitching well, but would love to would love to see a, him kept that winning streak alive. There you go. Let's go, baby. Now, now they just got to start a new one. Hall's three wins on the season coming against – very high quality opponents yes. in the Mambas, Archers, and Mojo. Yeah. Three showing of the, that he can uh, get up there and throw to the best. Three top four teams in the playoff oh. ranking, in the power uh, rankings. Good idea. So, really, really, really good, really good pitching so far. So, love to see it. Hopefully, he continues that success. All runs the count full here. Looking to make Rory throw strikes here in his first appearance, or his, uh, not his first appearance. But. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be good to see Rory throw a lot of pitches, you know, as for the Kings, just because, you know, Rory's coming off surgery. This is probably his first, like, full game, or full, first start potentially throwing a full game. So, is that another double walk, right? Yeah, yeah. It was a second and third. No, for Jake second Wilson. and third. Second and third. Yeah. Two out. Yes. Two out. Jake Wilson has been clutch this year. Does not have yeah. a lot of hits, but every one of them has been very impactful. Oh. Oh. He really likes that high pitch. I'm not going to lie. I've noticed he likes that high one. He just somehow gets a barrel on it. The high pitches really uh, play into his unusual, very Boy, let's go. specific swing mechanic. Yeah. His swing is highly, highly focused on the upper body. He's all about that bat speed, getting it through the zone. Yeah. Mm. Rory reaching back and putting a little extra on that, giving you the uh, Serena Williams grunt. Yeah, he puts some oomph on that. And he chases another high one there. Wilson trying to chop down on that one. He gets beat. And that's going to take us to the top of the second. This top of the second inning will be brought to you by our division sponsors in this uh, interleague, interdivision matchup. Both division sponsors bringing it to you. The American League is brought to you by Alex Eggert Photography. Looking to freeze those unforgettable moments in time? Well, look no further than Alex Eggert Photography. Whether you're scoring the winning goal, celebrating family milestones, or embracing your senior year, we got you covered. With a keen eye for detail and a passion for perfection, let us snap, shoot, and capture your story in every frame. From sports action shots to heartwarming family portraits, we'll ensure that your memories are picture perfect. Book your session today and let's make every moment click. Also brought to you by our National League sponsor, UCCSTL. They'll recover money owed to you from creditors, collect on court judgments awarded to you and or your business. Go to UCCSTL.com for more information. 
That's going to bring up Ethan Bailey here to face Nick Bone. Oh, great pitch from Nick there. Great Low first pitch. On the corner. That's Nick Bone's bread and butter. When he's yeah. on, he is really painting the corners. Hitting the corners. He doesn't have the overpowering velocity that you see from some guys. He's very much a control type pitcher. So when he's when he's working, that's where you're going to see him throwing every different speed, every different pitch, and hitting the edges of the zone. Yep, love to see it. Always good to see uh, see how on point Nick Bone hitting corners, keeping his team in the game. Yeah, oh, sure. Ethan Woo! Bailey, yeah, back, back to, welcome back Ethan Bailey as he continues his hot career start from last year as he takes one deep. Let's go. Ethan Bailey with the home run there. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to bring up Jordan Smith. Got no time to catch your breath after giving up a home run with Jordan at the plate. Yeah. Oh, bucket. Off the bucket. That's a hit, and that'll extend the hit streak. I told you. I Jordan's hit streak now at an absurd 23 games. 23 games. Yeah, once it's the bucket, it's a single. Huh? You can use the purple one. That one sneaks through. First and second. Now. <laughs> Tony Cochran switching bats. He's switching to the power bat here. Switching to my bat as he's had uh, good luck with that in the past. Tony wants to get a hold of one here. Yeah, Tony has struggled to start the year. He uh, is looking to get off on a or start on a new page and uh, get hot. He was very disciplined in game one, showing a slightly different approach at the plate. Normally a very free swinger. It's a piece. Don't hit the pole. Oh, Yikes. Oh. Selling out the body there, just Thanks. off camera. You couldn't see it. I'm glad he did not run into a pole there. He almost hit the storage box or the pole in the dugout. He's really trying to help out his team captain there. But Captain Nick Bone is capable of helping itself, himself, it would seem. Striking out Tony Cochran there. That's going to bring Jay Rich up. Runners at first and second, and that solo home run already in. Nick's looking to limit the damage here. There's strike one to Jay Rich. You know, Nick Bone's not going to be your overpowering, you know, shutout inning after shutout inning guy. But if he gets out there and he gives up one run here and there, he's going to have a lot of success. Yeah. Like I so said, if he can get out of this inning, he's looking good. Yeah, like I said earlier, I said it earlier. He always, like, when he's keeping you in the game, that's the Nick Bone you want, giving you a shot. That's all you can ask for. Just need to get a big hit or two and get right back in this game. Oh. Nick Bone's got big game experience. Uh, two years ago, he was the winning pitcher in the clinching game of the championship series for the Bombers. Yeah, it does have a just just one ring, right? Yeah, one ring in the th three years. But can't deny winning the championship, especially on getting that win on the mound. No one can knock you for that. Is that a thing? There's sorry, two outs. I mean, he tried for it and did not touch it. You didn't touch it, right? I mean, it's an out. I don't like the rule, but it's an out. 
He said he did. He did max effort. If you, if you think he touched it? Yeah. Did Nick touch it? No, Nick did not touch it. Then it's an out. And he did try for it. I don't like the rule, but it's an out. <laughs> Yeah. So that's going to take us to the bottom of the second. Yeah, Having a look in the rule book for that one. Okay. So the uh, judgment no. is by rule. Uh, Nick made an attempt at that ball, but did not make contact with it. Did not touch it. So it does not count as a fielding it's attempt. A, sucks, but like, Hull fields the ball cleanly like in fair territory in the infield. Like yeah. I, mean, I think he out. made it. Oh, he yeah. did. Yeah. I, I, I feel like we need to change the rule to like if you when you make a legitimate attempt and you miss, it should be a hit. I thought that was going to count. The rules committee will want to uh, look at that one for next year. By yeah. the rule as it is written, because like most that is an out. For, you're going to touch it. Yeah. So like, this bottom of the second is going to be brought to you by Commercial Drywall Corp. Commercial Drywall Corp. is a national subcontractor that specializes in commercial drywall, acoustical ceilings, and finished carpentry. All of which, folks, you don't want to do them yourself. They're so visible in your commercial space. You want the pros doing them. Uh, they have having a plan is important, but finding the right partner to execute that plan in a cost-effective manner. It was blown key. in. Like it was Check blown them out at commercial like that one. That one. Also brought to you by our player of the week sponsor. Auto Spa, etc. Auto Spa, etc. Sets the bar for a clean car with express tunnel locations yes. for a quick exterior wash with free vacuums, all the way to full-service locations with complete detail centers. Auto Spa, etc. is clearly better. It shows in the shine. Go to autospotetc.com for locations and details. Rory quickly up 0-2 here on Nick Bone. He's got a good swing. He's going to pitch on our next series. All right. I'm excited because I need him to do well. Nick Bone hitting 241 coming into the night. That's good for top 10. In the league, I believe that's 10th amongst players with at least 10 plate appearances. Very dangerous hitter who gets up there and he wants to swing. He doesn't walk a lot. Yeah, walking is no fun. You always want to hit. Nick won't swing at absolute garbage, but if it's hittable, he wants a piece of it. Yeah. Very different approach from his older, not quite as in shape, not as good looking brother, <laughs> who is looking to walk. And that hits the back corner of the zone. That's tough. Yeah, not much you can do with that one. That's, that's two strikeouts uh, in this game yeah. on Nick. My Both bad. of those strike threes on pretty tough uh, pitches. Is that two? Two -oh. Okay. 2 0 here to Jake Keller. Keller looking to do some damage. He's always capable of evening this game back up with one swing. He's yeah. got three home runs on the year. Absolutely. Hit a. Oh, and Tomahawks that one. Hit a big home run against the Archers last week to, uh, against Tony Cochran. Looking to do the same here just against Rory Rank. I don't. Still, I'm confused how he got a piece of that one. Oh, and hits another corner. We've talked a lot about Nick Bone working the corners, but Rory Rank is absolutely keeping up and doing the same thing. That's three, three two. two. Three two. Counting's hard. Yes, that's a hard hit. Fair ball. ball there for a base hit. It went over the base. Uh, we're losing 3 2, bottom eight. Yeah. That was a fair ball by an inch or two. And that's going to bring up Dustin Hitchcock. We struggle against the He's walked four times tonight and is still looking for his first hit. Yeah. And they look like trash. Burleson. 
Yeah, Bur Burleson and Gorman teamed up. Quickly one and one here yeah. with Dustin Hitchcock. Hitchcock, Keller, and Bone, if you can get that trio going at the same time, that is a deadly combination. Childhood friends who played hockey in high school together. So they're uh, no stranger to picking each other up in team play. Yeah, this would be a huge. This is a huge at bat here for Hitchcock. Get a batter. Get a got a guy on very guy on base. If uh, he can keep this rally going, get another guy on base, and maybe Hall or Wilson uh, can uh, finish the job. Uh, three one. That's what I got. I could be wrong. Four one. Very disciplined by Hitchcock. I've He's been, seeing the ball so well. I've been wrong many times. That brings the count up for a great pitch from Rory there. You should never really trust me because I've been wrong very many times. I took your word for it and put another ball up on the scoreboard. Oh, and that makes the point move because yeah. we know for sure there were three strikes. Yeah, I do know there was three strikes. I think the first time I met Dustin Hitchcock, we were playing Halo on a large projector screen in a church. <laughs> almost oh, yeah. life-size Halo. Okay. Is that two outs? Two outs. Yeah. Yeah, it's always fun to play Halo with your little brother's friends because you're older than them and you can usually spank the hell out of them. <laughs> oh, good swing there from Hall. Just missing. Just missing that one. Good eye there. Oh, swinging up at that one. Chasing the high one. Number three. That's going to take us to the top of the third. This top of the third is brought to you by our tournament sponsor, Ink Spot Tattoo Shop. Head to our Facebook page, the Mo Whip Facebook page, for more information about our tournament. It's going to be a fantastic event, our biggest and best yet. And it's going to be brought to you by Ink Spot Tattoo Shop. They're the premier tattoo and piercing shop located at 10 Ellis Avenue in Troy, Missouri. You can see them featured on tattoos and turnpikes on YouTube. So please give them a call at 636 Five two eight nine four six five. Mo if is Big Dave approved. That's gonna bring up Jordan Smith. Oh, oh, what a play there by Keller. Jake Keller flashing the weather there. Nice. The first time he's taking a hit away this year. Nice. Uh, opening night, Jake Keller had a diving over the wall. Play, crashing through the fence to steal a potential home run. Here's another one. That one Hot got play by Hall. by Hall. Two outs in a big hurry. There. A defensive so display here by the King. Is that two two pitches, two outs? It is. Does he dare throw a strike here? Does Tony dare throw? Uh, that's what you want if you're Nick Bone. You want, uh, you want to be able to trust your defense. I almost had one of those, uh, one of my games, too. And I'm pretty sure the guy swing on the, the third batter actually swing. It was pretty. Uh, I think it was me. <laughs> I think that was four pitch inning by you. <laughs> it might have been. I think it was two pitch inning against me. That was amazing. Yeah. I thought I yeah, oh. can't say it enough. Jake Keller out there in uh, center field is just so athletically yeah. gifted. That hockey coming in, coming in clutch, the acceleration to get to that ball, quick quick first step. Yeah, if you think he's a dangerous uh, wiffle ball player, see him out there on the ice. He will no, thank you. circled around. No, thank you. I, uh, my brother played hockey, and I tried. I tried to, like, I went to, went to, went to the ice rink, skated with him. I mean, I could do it because I was an athlete, but definitely uh, if I had played in a game, I would get roasted. Hockey probably my best sport, but I wasn't there it is. a decent goaltender in like men's leagues, amateur stuff. Yeah. And Tony gets a nice, nice single there down the line, hit that ball hard. 
Tony taking a little bit of that, hopefully taking a little bit of that pressure off his shoulders, just trying to get back to his normal self. One of my buddies is trying to get me to play over for 35 uh, beer league hockey. Oh. It just, I don't know. I'm that's just, that's I'm dangerous. I'm in better shape, but I just don't feel like getting out there and hurting myself. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing with hockey. I feel like there are a lot of a lot more injuries, especially once you get a little older. It's not like, you know, baseball. If you play like a yeah. men's league baseball or like men's league softball, it's a little, a little slower paced, and you can kind of take a step back. Hockey, you can't really do that. Oh, big grunt there by Jarrett. Just Paul uh, makes the play there. Quick inning there for Nick Bone, trusting his defense to get it done for all three outs. It's going to take us to the bottom of the third. This bottom of the third is brought to you by our Silver Level sponsors, starting with Promotional Consultants Inc. PCI believes that strategy and ideation are essential steps to finding the right branded merchandise, apparel, awards, and signing solutions to enhance both your promotional marketing and your employee recognition. Give them a follow and check them out at promotionalconsultants.com. I thought it also stopped. brought to you by Game Time <laughs> Tournaments. It's a local, family owned, and operated baseball and softball tournament enterprise. Play at your team's skill level with no additional fees or charges and flexible scheduling. Go to playgametimestl.com for more information. And if you're, uh, you've got a sporting event or tournament, especially baseball or softball, uh, Game Time can help you out. You want them handling the logistics, the, the scheduling, the matchups, all that. So you can focus on, you know, actually having a good time instead of pulling your hair out, taking care of all that while you're trying to play. Roy Rank warming up here, getting ready to throw the bottom of the third. Yeah, pit, pitch well so far. Love to see that, getting that Roy Rank back from season, his first season. Um, yeah, just back to normal. I'm sure he's he's well, loving he that. as good as he used to. As a... Uh, that velo is cre slowly creeping up each start he makes. I think he's feeling a little mo more confident That's with every pitch he throws. I faced Rory Rank at a tournament pre-surgery, and he is yeah. really looking like he's back to that level. Tony! Tony gobbling that one up, ranging to his left. For out number one. Jake Wilson's look pretty dang good. Puts the ball in play pretty much every time. Yeah, Jake Wilson does not strike out a lot. He, no. Uh, he strikes out only 40% of the time, which is that's league pretty, average is 57%. That's pretty good. Let's see how hard he balls this in. Yeah, Kings are starting to starting to catch on here, Rory. They've seen a barrel one up now. That's the question. Will they barrel one up, do some damage, and uh, make this a whole new ball game? Oh, Ooh, he went on that one. He liked the high cheese there, as that one was way high. He was, that was a predictive swing all the way. He thought he knew where it was going to be. And it just wasn't him. Mm. I think that might have been a uh, defensive swing there. Tough and bad there. Tough and bad there. Oh, that was a quick inning. Very quick. Takes you to the top of the fourth in a big hurry. Still 17 minutes on the clock. We could see a seven, a uh, five-inning game here. Yeah, I'd love to see a it. a late game. Those are my favorite kind. And uh, this fourth inning is going to be brought to you by Silver Fox Marketing. Silver Fox is your source for signs, banners, window graphics, and vehicle wraps. Find them on Facebook and Instagram or go to silverfoxmarketingstl.com. Ethan Bailey, responsible for the only run we've seen. Oh, and here. he does it again. This guy, every a time he comes, solo shot. every time he comes to Miracle Field, he oh, can hit bombs. I drafted him. As he is a hot hitter right now. Two home runs in his first game is already putting him into uh, about a nine-way tie <laughs> oh, for right fifth, fifth or sixth place in home runs. There's a lot yeah. of guys with two. Yeah, that's huge. Big spark for this Archers team is their hitters just keep hitting. They keep hitting the ball hard, just hitting singles. <laughs> the 
top of the lineup is hitting the ball, just hitting the ball on the ground, getting singles. Jesus Christ. Ground balls. That was funny. I don't give a shit, dude. They got hit the ball. Go, Roar. No. Two and oh here on Roar. What? 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 Mm. Nick taking a breath, resetting himself there after a couple of very quick hits. Apparently a good move. Need to, need to recenter, get back to throwing good strikes. So he gets Rory to foul that one. Very good pitch there. Just missed. Another foul there. Three and two here on Rory. Uh, 32? Yeah. 32. Mm, that was a good pitch. Just misses there. Did not miss by much there. Low on the, on the strike zone. That's five. There is a man on first. Nobody out. He's going to put him on. That gets second and third. Still no one out. As captain says, it's your time for Tony Cochran. It's going to be a big bet for you for Tony. Is he struggling a little bit to start? If that one gets... Just the barest edge of the strike zone. Getting a big hit here with some guys on base could be good for his confidence. And Nick quickly gets ahead. <laughs> See Tony anxious to get at one here. If I'm Nick Paul, I'm throwing him low and outside, making him chase. Oh, but he shows the discipline. Nick's thinking the same thing, but Tony would not be fooled on that pitch. Hey! Oh, he gets a piece. Let's go! Take your time. Play as he gets a sack fly. No, the runner on second stays. I'm friends with Justin and Jay, so. Oh, then that's the right hand. Yeah. That's my brother. I heard things too. Oh, that's their name. Oh, my God. Oh, Jay Rich smoked this ball. Just for another hard hit single. Yeah, I got it. Just so I know, because I don't know. I saw you were here. That's, there's a strike from Nick Bowles. Yeah, and this is the guy you don't want, Nick does not want to see up, is he's hit Nick very well. Got him 0-2 here. Bailey leads the league in career OPS. Yeah, career everything, I think. Career at bat. Like, hey, it's all right. Good swing. Like, I think his career average, I think his career average is even crazy. Yeah. It, it is the highest. Yeah. But. There he gets him. Great yeah, pitch there for out number two. He might be. Well, yeah, it's hard to do career because, like, yeah, what do you count career-wise? Like, Yeah. Jordan Smith has already secured his hit streak. I wonder how the MLB does that. We, in, yeah, no, I don't either. But we also like me and you and everyone else who played year one. We get the shaft when it comes to like career average and everything. I don't because like year one was so you don't. I don't. But like imagine if we had these rules in year one. Yeah. You would you'd be even higher. Oh yeah, I probably would. Like year one was so hard to hit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wonder. We, I guess I'm. I'm not exactly sure how MLB does that, like career stat wise, like yeah. how you qualify. I'm sure they have like a game, like a maybe a game limit or something. I, I just go like, when I do like our graphics and stuff. Well, like, stuff. for the seasons, it, for the yeah. season, it's but, easy. I, I'm I, saying I mean, career like, stats. Like when I look on myself for like career wise, I just like what's like a number that seems right. Well, there's just there's got to be a number. Like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's got to be something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like how you would even qualify, but yeah. choose. Jordan goes down swing in there. Uh, according to a uh, Google search uh, from the admittedly very, very fallible Google AI, to qualify for career records in Major League Baseball oh, based on batting, slugging, or on base percentage, a player must have a minimum of 502 plate appearances. This is based on 3.1 plate appearances per game over the course of one full season. Yeah. So if you do one season's worth of 3.1 plate appearances, which is kind of the average, that qualifies you for career awards. Okay. So we'd have to sort of figure out what our average. So it would technically, I think, so it would technically be like our normal season, our regular, like. 17 games. Well, yeah, but. So, like, yeah, whatever our plate appearances per 17 games would be, that's what it would be. And it wouldn't matter how many, I guess it doesn't matter how many seasons you play, which I th- would think it would, but. I would, I thought it would, but. Because, like, what if someone basically, like, what if you play one season, get hurt, season never, it, play, again. never play again? Yeah. You bet. 408 for one season. That's what I'm saying, and never and play again. Shatter your clavicle or something. Right. That, that doesn't make sense yeah. to me, but. Yeah, I agree. It's tough even like swing batting. This has been getting walked all night. Yep. Kings in need of base runners here. That's exactly what you want here in this bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth brought to you, by the way, by Arch Nemesis Brewery. Specializing in kombucha. Kombucha. Let's go. Kombucha. Oh. Just a little late there. Tough pitch there for the lefty. Count now full on Dustin Hitchcock, who has reached base uh, five times tonight. And he's going to reach again. Here's your other one. That's five. We had five, but five. it's not our call. It's... Okay. We'll throw to him here. Up, getting have a little three zero lead. I don't. Uh, not surprised. Not super surprised. There is. That's what I would. That's what I would do. What is Looking for something to hit here. That's better. Fifty two. Trying to get himself going. Kings down 3-0. This game's still within reach here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, oh that's okay. my that gosh. That looked hot, too. But it was, I know. It looked it looked kind of hot to me. That's a deadly pitch for the 56 and under. It's 53 miles per hour, just clipping the white piping on the low inside corner. To the left handed batter. Six minutes left on the clock here in this fourth inning. Did I get a piece? Yeah, I got that in okay. the strike. Okay. Sorry, looking at my phone, being a bad broadcaster. This is not the pros. <laughs> That's what you get when you have an all volunteer workforce. <laughs> I am Mike not. Shannon never got caught looking at his phone. So I, I don't am. think he could operate one. <laughs> I am not getting paid like uh, they are. 
listening to Mike Shannon try to explain what an NFT is is one of the highlights of my baseball watching life. Do yourself a favor and look up Mike Shannon NFT on YouTube. <laughs> 3-2 now on Hall. Get some right, chasing. Get Two outs now. It's going to bring up Jake Wilson. Finish it. Jake Still swings a, play another inning. a hot bat. I mean, finish the inning. <laughs> Thank you, though, Lane, because I can't count. Like, literally, I get lost. <laughs> I told Jordan it was second and third with you. He goes, no, it's not. I go, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you see the temperature dropping here as my Diet Mountain Dew bottle beginning to collapse under its own <laughs> atmospheric pressure. It did get a, it, it was pretty warm today, and it, it's now not, it's a little chilly, kind of. Well, it's cool out here under the lights. Yeah, so feels good. Catch feels good. Here. Can't yeah. can't beat this weather right here, actually. Whoa, whoa. 71 degrees here. Perfect. That's that's my weather. Beautiful whiff of ball weather. Yeah, I'd lock it in right about here if I had my way. Oh, no. The curve change up fools them. That's going to take us to our fifth and final huh? inning. Another five. five inning game. Top five. I love seeing these games make their way to uh, a fifth inning. They're still not there yet either. I think that's about it, though, dude. I don't know. No, the old Royal Fight set. This fifth inning is brought to you by Arch Nemesis Brewery. Arch Nemesis Brewery. It's a nano brewery located in the district in Chesterfield Valley, not far from beautiful Catch 22 Miracle Field and Chesterfield Sports Complex. It's 100 yards from the factory in Reverie, specializing in kombucha and experimental small craft beer. Small batch craft beer. The beers are not small. The batches are small. Mm -hmm. The beers are as large as you want them to be, and as numerous. <laughs> Give them a follow on uh, social media. Find out more. <laughs> the foot again. Rory, Rory needs a Rory needs a shin, uh, foot guard, shin guard. He's yeah. fouling it off his foot multiple times tonight. Gonna need some of that Barry Bonds style armor. <laughs> Dude wore a full set of plate up there. Need some Evo Shield. Evo Shields. Rory down on strikes for the first out here in the fifth inning. He's gonna bring up Tony Cochran. Tony's starting to heat up at the plate. Nick Bone looking to put a stop to that if he can. He wants to keep this game under control. Give his Kings a chance. Chases just, just a little bit there off the end. Quick for out number two. Jay Rich switching uh, weapons here. The chair beginning to unravel. He has, he, oh, he hit the ball hard last at bat and pitch, hits it hard yeah. again. That one for a single. And that brings up hot hitter Ethan Bailey. Two home runs already on the game. Is that a ball? Can we stop the time? Okay. Right? Now they don't have the score. I was thinking we were all here. Good six down here. That's exciting. Gets the corner. Oh, beautiful pitch on the corner. Love, the love to see that. We're starting to pack up. It's 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 late. Get some That's swing take us in there. To the of the go, Nick. Nick Bone does a good job there, uh, giving his team a chance to win. Looks like he uh, he pitches the full five, gives up three runs there, two on solo shots. 
So that will lower his ERA a bit. Uh, gives him a more manageable game, something to work off of for his next step. Now the Kings looking to uh, get something done here at the plate and see if they can take one of these games from the Archers. This is the ball that Cole got. Jimmy threw to Cole. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. This Kings team just needs two guys on and then get that big hit. So go, Roy. Just maybe a couple walks, a couple singles, and then see where they go from there. At the top of the order coming to you here. Nick Bone hit with Shane tonight, I believe. 0 for 3. Well, I don't know about the first game, but he's 0 for 3 this game. Joined in the booth here by a wiffle ball legend and original Lakeside King, Darren Bone. The natural. I am outnumbered by Bones right now. <laughs> We're a serious about breeding in the Bones You find yourself outnumbered by Bones in most places. Just nicks the corner there for a strike. He's still on this nasty pitches. Mm, good swing there from Nick. Just misses. Two-two here to Nick Bone. Nick his first year as captain. Fouls one down for his left. Walking his body. Oh, really? He's a scrappy player. I always used to remind him when he was younger that he might not have been as smart or talented. There it is. There's a start. He puts in the work. There's, a, on, there's the start this Kings team needs. Nick Vaughn showing that you don't have to be intelligent or good looking to be good at wiffle ball. <laughs> <That's> one, <laughs> one more runner this this Kings team needs, and then then they're in business with the time run at the plate. Oh, it hits a corner. Jake adjusting his stance a little bit. Now he moves back a little bit. He's backed off. He's pulled his front foot back a little. There, oh, hard, hard, hard. hard. There's another hard. signal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This King's, this, this King's team is... The feeling it. Nick Bone and Jake Kelly been playing on teams since together since they were in their single digit ages. They live across the street from each other. They practice together. Here's this, the third leg of their hockey triumvirate here. In they are Wisconsin. feeling it, getting a little energy in the dugout. There's no quitting or fight. They are fighting, that's for sure. Hitchcock representing the tying run now. If if they do come back and win this game, this will not be a stolen game. This they went and taken it. Yeah, Hitchcock's still looking for his first hit. It's a good eye. Now now the pitcher's tensing up just a little bit. Oh, Hitchcock has seen the ball extremely well tonight, walking like five times between the two games. It's good to see Rory back. Oh. You know, Rory rank a great part of this league, and uh, we were all oh, afraid Rory. that after that surgery, he would have lost a step, but we're all so happy to see that that is not the case. Right. You saw it, dude. You saw it. Good. Dustin just needs to get out of, yeah, get out in front of that just a little bit more. Oh. It's tough oh, enough Rory. to come back from those kind of surgeries when you're a pro with, you know, trainers, conditioners, dietitians. When you've got a day job working in a correctional facility, keeping our society safe like Rory Rank does, you got to work that much harder to come back from a yeah. surgery like that. Absolutely. Probably didn't do much. I don't know how much like therapy, physical therapy he did. You know, we don't really have trainers like professionals. So very little, very little like people around you helping you out there. It's big to come back. Strike there after Rank gets Hitchcock. Paul also looking for his first hit down quickly 0 oh, 2. Let's go. 
He steps out of the box, takes a deep breath. Got to get something done here. It's tough when two or five guys don't have a hit on the season. Mm. Hall goes down goes swinging down there, swing. still hitless on the year. It is uh, the last. Kings down to their last out. It's Jake really Wilson. A, a five person uh, lineup to have a couple of holes in there is not ideal. Yeah. Good eye there. Good eye there from Wilson. These Kings have played, all five of them have played every game so far this year. We talked about this earlier, though. You know, Jake Wilson has a few hits on the year, and they've all been in big-time situations, and here we go again. Yeah, this situation is where Jake Wilson has has earned his uh, place on the team this year, the big flex situations. He's absolutely capable yeah. of tying this one up with one screen. Capable of tying it and just to get it back up to Nick oh. Bone. And you he's know. got a great personality. Oh. And he brings the fans up. Yeah. Just yeah, to, he's a just compass to, sign. Just a fantastic teammate. Reset this lineup. You know, you get bases loaded, Nick Bone up to bat. Bat, a home run will win it. He's a great teammate. In his day job, he helps find homes for people that otherwise might be at risk of homelessness. Getting people in uh, any kind of assistance they might need. Helping to match them up with that. Here we go. 4-1 so count. It's a, it's a noble Roy, profession. let's go. Come on. There have been times in my life that without someone like a yeah. Jake Wilson, I might have been living in a car. Here we go. He was all over that one. He's right on that one. Full count here. Big pitch. Huge pressure situation. This is the kind of stuff you dream about in your backyard when you're a kid. Full count, bottom of the final inning. You represent the tying run with two outs. Oh, Rank comes out ahead on that one. That's going to do it. That is game. Archers with the sweep. That's huge. The Archers sweep. That could have big playoff implications for your Kings. Uh, as they lose both of these games, this one three to nothing. Nick Bone takes the loss, giving up three and in five innings pitch. Rory Rank with the win, giving up no runs over five innings pitch. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight. For Cam Smith, for uh, the rest of our broadcast team, Cole Layton, Darren Bone. This is Ken Bone saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.